Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives, uh, still on engineering science and two. Uh, in this platform, we have a question on energy and momentum. Okay, that is November uh, 2022 question paper. So we're not going to waste much time. We are going to quickly rush through the questions that we are given. Uh, so in 3.1, we are given to define the term potential energy. So take note, that's defined. So we know that uh, in this case, the potential energy is the ability of a body to, to work. Okay, so let's just write down 3.1. That's uh, potential energy, which you can uh, give as a definition from MGH. Okay, we know that uh, that's where we have our potential energy. Anyways, here what I need is to define this. So this is the ability, uh, that's the ability. Uh, of a body of a body to do work, all right, to do work. Uh, and we are given on account on account of its position, all right, of its position. So that is uh, uh, what we have, okay, above a plan. All right. So that is what we can have as the definition for the potential energy, which is the ability of a body to do work. So we are referring when it is a stationary, it has the ability to do work. So that is what we, we are simply referring to. Uh, on 3.2, we are now given that there is a lorry with mass three tons travels at 92 kilometers per hour on the horizontal plane. Calculate the kinetic energy, uh, the momentum of the lorry. Okay, so let's take the information that we are given. We are given that it's a lot in the it's a it's got a mass of three tons. Okay. Uh so we are given a mass here 3.2. So on 3.2, we are given the mass of the lorry, which is three tons. And we know that in a ton we have got 1000 uh kgs. So to convert three tons to kilograms, you simply multiply three ton is equivalent to how many kgs we do not know. So it's three over one times 1,000, which is going to be 3,000 uh, kgs. Okay, so we've got the mass. And we are also given the velocity, which is the speed we can take as velocity of 92 kilometers per hour. All right. So take note, our velocity is supposed to be in uh, meters per second. That's the best unit that we can use our, our velocity. Okay, so that means in this case, if we are to use this, uh, how can we convert then to meters per second? Okay, that's the question. How can we convert to meters per, per second? All right, we know that the relationship is a meter per second is equivalent to 3,6 kilometers per hour. All right, that's kilometers per hour. So if it is a one meter is 3,6 kilo, kilometers per hour, that means 90, Two, we are simply going to divide in this case to obtain for 92. So it is going to be 92 over 3,6 times one meter per second. So that's how you can convert to meters per second, which is going to be uh, 230 uh, over nine, or as a decimal, it is going to be 25,556 meters per, per second. All right, so we have the velocity uh, in meters per second now, we have got our velocity in meters per second, that's 25,556 meters per second. All right, so these are very, very important units to work with. Okay, so let's check the question first. 3.21, calculate the kinetic energy of the lorry. Okay, so how are we going to have the kinetic energy? Remember from your formula sheet, we are given the formula for kinetic energy, which is EK, is equivalent to half mv squared. All right, that's the kinetic energy in this case, all right? So the kinetic energy is equivalent to half times the mass in kgs, which is 3,000 kgs times the velocity squared in meters per second. That's 25,556, uh, okay? So that's 556 five, squared, all right? So that's you guys and your calculator. Please make sure that you use your calculator properly. You're going to obtain this big value, 
704 joules. Okay, so remember this is energy which is measured in joules, or you can convert to kilojoules if you want. Okay, so that was person uh 3.2 3.21. Okay, we move on to question 3.22, which is to calculate the momentum of the lorry. Okay, so what is it that we have as the momentum? Okay, remember that the momentum is uh, actually the product, okay, that's 3.22, that's the product of the mass and velocity. So our momentum in this case is going to be the mass times the given velocity. That's the mass of the lorry. It, remember the mass of the lorry, guys, the one that we had here, it was 3,000 kgs, okay? So it is going to be 3,000 kgs times the velocity. Uh, so for velocity, you can use that decimal or you can use the fraction. Remember, here I told you it can be a fraction is from your calculator, it was going to give you 230 over nine. So you think that you can use this or you can use the, 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 the fraction. Okay, so that's 25,556, 25,556. So if you multiply, you're gonna have seven, six, uh, six, 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 comma, uh, six, six, and so on, which is six, six, seven. All right, so this is momentum, which is the product of the mass to the velocity. So mass is kgs, velocity is meters per second, which you can write it like this, or you can write it as kg meters per second like that. Still, it's one and the same thing or one and the same presentation. All right, so that was question 3.32. Uh, then on question 3.3, we are now asked to, de to determine what height the load of 25 kgs can lift when 10 kgs of energy is used, okay, what type of energy is it that is needed to lift an object? That is the question, all right. The question is, what is the height? Okay, so this is what we, we are going to have in this case. Uh, we, we, we know that the potential energy is, uh, is equivalent to the kinetic energy at the top, okay? Because we are lifting up so the, the energy which is used here is the kinetic energy to lift, okay? But at the top now, this kinetic energy is going to be the same as the potential energy in the, in the bottom, all right? So if it is like that, it can help us to calculate the height because we know that the kinetic energy and the, the potential energy are the same. So even I can calculate this one at this point here, we can say since our kinetic energy is equal to the potential energy, that is the kinetic energy at top is equal to the potential energy at the bottom. Therefore, uh, from the potential energy, we know that uh, the formula is mgh. So to find the height here, we can simply divide by mg, that is mass times the gravitational acceleration. So we can have our h which is equivalent to the potential energy, which is our kinetic energy over mg. So that's the potential energy of 10 kilojoules. So kilo means a thousand. So you're given kilo, that's 10 times 10 to the exponent of three. So you're going to multiply this as 10 times 10 to the exponent of three or 10,000, 10 kilo, that's 10,000, okay? Over the mass, times the gravitational acceleration, which is the mass of 25 kgs times 9,8 for the gravitational acceleration. All right, so this is going to be something like uh, 40,816 if we round off properly. This is height, which is measured in meters, okay? So if you are to calculate this uh, from, uh, from the potential energy, we can have the height because we know that it's equivalent to the kinetic energy at the top. All right, so that was the, how this question was uh, a little bit tricky from they wanted you to understand the, 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 the importance between the kinetic energy at the top and the potential energy at the bottom. Okay, so that was question uh, three, which is on energy and momentum, uh, November 2022 question paper, engineering science and two.